Good afternoon, Lukey3262 here from theshavingcadre.com uh, doing an afternoon shave. Uh, it's been a busy day. Uh, did a lot of grass cutting, weed eating, uh, I was pulling um, um, bushes, some of the um, um, honeysuckle bushes. They go grow like rampant here in Missouri and they're everywhere and I'm trying to get them all cleaned out of my uh, my flower beds and I mean, I, I worked and worked and worked on them all afternoon. So uh, I'm hot, still hot. We've got the windows open. It's still a pretty day, um, but I want to. I want some menthol in my life. So today I'm going to be using. This will be my eighth shaving soap from TDS uh, Cosmetics. Uh, so today I'm using the menthol. I've shaved with the menthol in the past. Um, this is a, a new tub, um, and I'm going to just see if uh, if it's any different from uh, from what I've been using in the past. Um, and then I've already used once, but I'm going to use it again because I like it. Uh, the menthol from TDS Cosmetics as well. Uh, the balm today is going to be a CO Bigelow. Um, they're uh, Elixir Green, um, which I don't even know if CO Bigelow is still being made anymore. I know uh, you used to be able to pick it up at Bath and Body Works and a few other places. Um, my hardware today is different. Uh, it's uh, uh, quite a bit different. Um, I don't usually shave with a safety razor, but today I'm going to because I need to run off and uh, take care of some other duties and take care of uh, my mo my mom's out of, out of town, so I'm going to go take care of her dogs. But uh, I want to get the shave in before I go, and i got about 20 minutes, um, so I think I can do it. Today I'm going to use a Gillette Double Ring. Uh, I picked this guy up for a steal. I don't usually advocate picking items up on a steal. But a lady had it as a buy it now uh, through Facebook Marketplace. I guess you could call it a buy it now. And she said, first person that shows up at my house gets this razor. And so uh, she said another guy was coming. And um, this is like 10 o'clock at night or something like that. And she was in St. Louis City. Um, so I, had to, I drove downtown, near downtown, uh, to pick this up. And uh, she lived in an apartment complex back off of the State Streets. And if you're from St. Louis, you know, you don't go on into the state streets really at nighttime, or at least if you're from the county, uh, you don't. Uh, but anyway, so I uh, drove in, it was pitch black, um, I parked my car, got up there, went up the stairs, dropped the, the money in, the, in the, the bag on the front porch, grabbed the razor, and uh, on my way back down, bumped into the guy that was coming up to buy it ahead of me. So I, he missed it by uh, about a minute. And then we both looked at each other and um, we both knew that we did not belong there and we needed to get out of there um, because it was not really great place to be. So uh, anyway, so that's the story of how I got my Gillette double ring. Um, I don't shave with it a ton, um, but it's a cool razor. I've chosen not to polish it or um, do anything other than a good deep clean. Um, it is old. I mean, it's got some bent teeth. Um, but I think it's cool to leave the patina on it. Um, so anyway, this is, this is a special shave. I'm also going to use another vintage item. Um, this is a vintage English pewter uh, shaving brush. Um, it says English pewter Sheffield, England. Uh, I'd say it's from the 1920s-ish. It came in a, um, uh, it came in a, um, like a scuttle type pewter uh, mug. Uh, and I don't know if it was ever used. Uh, the brush is, uh, I've cleaned it. It smells like an old badger brush. Um, it's been really well cleaned many times and sterilized to the best of my abilities, but uh, it's, a, it's an old um, uh, pure badger. So we're gonna give that a try today. I haven't used it before, but it's moderately dense. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with shave. Oh, I better put a blade in my razor. I'm gonna use a GSB. I like Gillette Silver Blues the best of any uh, um, safety razor blade. And I'll, I've never tried a few of them, like Wizomets. Um, never tried the, the Wizomets, and I've never tried um, um, uh, some of the different, I think there's different feather iterations. I, I, I haven't tried all of the feathers. They didn't work well for my face. Um, but uh, here's my, uh, I guess my serial number on this one is 82, oh gosh, I'm looking at it wrong, 82532. 
uh, and she comes apart in three pieces uh, for you, those of you that have never seen it. Uh, but this was a, I'd say, a well-used razor probably at one time. I mean, it's got a little bit of brassing on the on the um, on the toe or on the uh, toe. I'm using straight razor terminology. A um, little bit of brassing on the um, bottom of the handle, um, and then uh, not really on the uh, handle itself, but the the comb has uh, quite a bit of uh, brassing too. But really, for the most part, it's in great shape, with the exception of a few bent teeth on the ends. But, I mean, the razor is like 116 years old, 117 years old. I think this one's in, uh, I had the case for it, too. I think it's a, a 1904 or 5, one of the two. It's kind of debatable uh, where it falls. Um, but, uh, anyway, uh, the first razor that uh, Gillette ever made. So uh, go ahead and get started with the TDS. I'm gonna do the 35 second load time, which I've been doing standard. Yeah. So yeah, it's, uh, it's been a busy day. Uh, just mostly working around the house. Um, ended up watching the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Um, yesterday um, pretty phenomenal for those of you that like uh, um, Obi-Wan Kenobi and Star Wars um, I mean the, yeah there's a few things that I think could have been a little better um, some of the casting choices for me were kind of a toss-up but they, they weren't that bad um, uh, I I just really enjoyed the aesthetic it felt like I was watching a movie and th that's totally cool uh, that's what I was hoping for that kind of quality um, there we go, looking beautiful. Um, but yeah, it was enjoyable. Uh, for a pre-shave today, I did my typical pre-shave that I've been doing since I got the TDS Cosmetics. I've been doing the um, Sterling pre-shave soap and then using the TDS Cosmetics um, pre-shave conditioner. All right, let's see how this brush does. Hopefully it doesn't shed its butt off on me. Oh yeah, really nice menthol scent. Menthol eucalyptus maybe. I, again, as always, I have to look up the uh, scent profile. I will put that in the description um, for you guys to uh, take a look at. But this is pretty well to me, it's pure menthol and eucalyptus, I'd say. And I'm doing a cold water shave today because like I said, I was pretty hot earlier. I uh, drank a whole bunch of water and was uh, enjoying it. I think it got up to about 82 here, which is not crazy. I mean, compared to Hanna Barber Dave, I mean, that guy lives in Arizona, you know, 100 and something degrees is totally normal for him. I'm not a huge fan of, uh, not a huge fan of Pure Badgers, personally. I, I mean, they just are a little bit more scritchy than I tend to reach for. Even my bore brushes are well break, broken in and they're not really very scritchy anymore. But I think if I remember right, and I haven't used many pure badgers because I like silver tips. Um, if I remember right, if you use these things enough, the tips will fray a bit and uh, you'll end up with a softer brush. But I gotta tell you, I'm amazed. With this vintage knot, I mean, there's no telling how old this thing is. I mean, I'd say this, this, uh, this brush has to be at a minimum 60 to 80 years old, maybe more. Um, I mean, it's not, you could tell it's got some age on it. Um, the brush and the, the cup that it came with and the cup and it are matched together. They both say, um, they have an R on it, uh, which I think that's a King maybe. I, I can't remember. Um, I'd have to try and look it up, but 
It's got to be 60 to 80. All right. Maybe 100. I don't know. But it's, uh, it's doing great. All right, so uh, go ahead and do the shave. I know some folks use the shims with these old types. I've never really done it. Personally, I feel like it's aggressive enough. Gosh, it's funny. I mean, I shave with a safety razor so infrequently now. I mean, just the, the angles are difficult. I even give myself a couple of weepers here. Plenty of slickness from TDS. I tend to think that the, uh, if we're comparing the soaps here, I tend to think that the activated charcoal TDS may have a little bit more menthol in it than the menthol. Um, not 100% sure on that, um, but I guess you could always reach out and ask TDS. Both of them are very nice. Whew. Cold water feels good though. I don't, I usually shave with warm water. I know some guys are exclusive cold water shavers. Uh, I remember when I first started out using a, a brush and everything, uh, I thought that, I think the general consensus was using uh, warm water was best, and then they went back and forth saying cold water is best, and you know, I'm sure somebody could comment on, on this video and give me different reasonings, but um, warm is my go-to, it's comforting, I enjoy it. Um, but the cold on a hot day or a warm day whenever I've been outside working all day um, kind of hits, hits the spot, so.
Now, don't get me wrong. Safety razor blades are very sharp. And I'm not saying I'm the best, most amazing honester out there, but even my straight razor blades edges, I think, are, are better than a GSB. But the thing is, I make my edges the way I like them. You know, they're exactly the way I like them. So, not downing on any straight or safety razor brand. I just get a better shave from a straight razor. And I thought I'd break out this old girl. I mean, it's probably been a year since I shaved with it last. Honest to goodness, not sure why I keep it because um, um, I don't really use safety razors. And when I usually do, when I do, uh, I usually reach for um, an injector. You guys can probably hear my kiddo in there playing music and dancing and screaming. Yeah, just planning a pretty quiet three-day weekend for us. We're gonna just continue working around the house tomorrow. I mean, like I said today, got the grass cut finally, like after two weeks due to the rain, and uh, planted some flowers and cleaned up. Um, I think Monday we'll do a barbecue. Have some, maybe have some family over. Got a little soap on the fingers and the hundred year old razor about slipped out of my hands. That's, that's not a good deal. <laughs> 120 year old razor. And as you can see guys, plenty of soap still from the 35 second load.
That does it, boys and girls. Never know, there could be a lady watching my channel, I don't know. Now, I didn't mention them earlier, but please check out my, uh, my friends from the Shaving Cadres videos as well. We got lots of shaving tutorials, lots of shaving videos, uh, shaving journals. Uh, there's Long Haul Tanker, uh, Handle Barber Dave, uh, Spider Shaves, Rich Shaves. Um, I mean, the list goes on. Uh, Bill M. Uh, please check out their channels. Uh, they, uh, they're they great dudes. Um, we're all over at theshavingcadre.com. It's a great place. We uh, we hang out and have a great time. And uh, I'd say about half the banter on there has nothing to do with shaving. Uh, but uh, it's a great time. So again, shaved with the Gillette Double Ring. Uh, the much uh, sought after uh, Gillette Double Ring. It's a good shave. I mean, granted, the razor is just, it's a different shave um, from a straight. Um, it's not a straight. Um, and I got quite a few weepers from this. So sometimes I get weepers from my edges too, but um, got a few hanging out today on the neck, but whatever. It, they'll go away after uh, my post shave. Uh, I ought to go pick up some alum. Actually, I dropped my alum block and shattered it um, before I started doing videos again. Doing some Thayer's Cucumber Witch Hazel, by the way. Missed a little spot there. Oops. But, uh... Anyway, um, yeah, I dropped my alum block and uh, just haven't replaced it. I need to get on that. Um, I used to use alum every shave um, to kind of tell where I'm at. I can tell you if I used it today, um, <laughs> uh, I would be feeling a little sting on my neck. But I think that the uh, TDS menthol uh, alcohol aftershave is still going to light me up and let me know. Um, so let's see. All right. Woo! Yes, sir. It's got that alcohol hit. Really pleasant menthol. Eucalyptus E scent. Again, I will post the link, or excuse me, the description in my, uh, the, the scent description in my description section. Um, and uh, the balm. Going to go ahead and go with the CO Bigelow, as I mentioned. Woo! Couldn't get it out forever, and then I dumped about half the bottle. Well, maybe not half. You know, good amount. My arms will thank me, I'm sure. Yeah, I got a little sun today. It wouldn't hurt to get a, get a little extra lotion. Um, taking a look at my arm whenever I was rubbing that on, I got a little bit of honer's mange. I don't know if you guys have ever had honer's mange. If you shave many, or home many straight razors, a lot of times you'll be popping hairs on your arm. And it looks like I've been going at it pretty hard lately because I got quite, quite a bit of hair missing. But anyway, uh, that's my shave, guys. Uh, Always good to hang out and uh, hope you guys uh, like and subscribe and comment and uh, uh, check us out on theshavingcadre.com, the best place on the internet. Uh, but anyway, like always, uh, I guess I'll shave with you guys later. Take it easy.